during the press conference, you addressed how the DNC server has never been forensically examined by the FBI. Right, even though Adam Schiff said otherwise in the hearing that I was in before Congress. Um, again, the assertion that the Russians hacked the DNC, is a, it's an accusation. Uh, it has never been proved in a court of law. There's very substantial forensic evidence that that is not the case, and that it's far more likely that the stolen data was downloaded to some kind of portable drive and taken out the back door. But uh, the remember, the Democrats hire a leftist front firm uh, to cover up the, uh, the truth about their server. They never let the FBI investigate it. Now, I'm being sued by the DNC, and we have served notice in that lawsuit that we intend to inspect that server, and it should be preserved. I will not be shocked to learn that it's been destroyed. Yes, Donna Brazil said that they destroyed the server. After June, when, uh, when Debbie and Amy and other bega others began to do remediation, where CrowdStrike, um, that, a firm that we hired, um, and when the person we hired was the former number three at the FBI. And they worked it out. They got a list from the FBI of the things that the FBI wanted. And in that list of items that the FBI requested, uh, they asked for a replica or an exact copy of everything that we had from our server, knowing that if we got rid of our server, we actually would get rid of our entire database. Our brain would be gone. And then essentially we would have nothing. So we made a replica of everything and turned it all over to them. Trust me, it, was, it cost us quite a penny to make replicas. Um, and then we destroyed uh, the machines. <laughs> And then we destroyed uh, the machines. And if you can imagine this, right before the convention, these staffers had lost all of their data, all of their materials. Everything was gone. Everything was wiped clean. She just said that they destroyed the server. And that's just OK. They can get away with it. But here we are, months and months into this Russia probe, years, and you're going through hell. This is what the first sounds that Roger Stone woke up to this morning was the FBI pounding on his door and shouting this. I want to just play this for a moment. FBI, open the door. And the very premise of this probe is malarkey, a yes. scam. Yes, I mean, look, uh, Mr. Comey, Mr. McCabe, Mr. Brennan, uh, Mr. Rosenstein, Mr. Ray, uh, Hillary Clinton themselves, Huma Abedin, Cheryl Mills, all these people lied to the government uh, investigators, which is a crime. All of them lied under oath to Congress yet on material matters, and they pay no penalty. And they destroyed evidence. I've destroyed no evidence. Yet I'm being persecuted in a contorted uh, perjury case. Well, President Trump is supposed to drain the swamp. But what we see is that, you know, the, the, after chanting lock her up for months and months, now we don't have Jeff Sessions to blame for why Uranium One is not being investigated and why the Cl Clinton's not being held accountable for destroying her private email server. Why, what, 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 is the president's hands tied behind his back? And he's letting his good friend go through this? Or what's happening? I can't speculate about my own situation. I have great affection for the president and loyalty to him. Uh, but why he has not directed his Justice Department to pursue the crimes of the Clintons and the Obamas, particularly the use of illegal unconstitutional FISA warrants to spy on his campaign, the use of the FBI to infiltrate his campaign, uh, it's very hard to understand. What do you anticipate going forward? What do you think is going to happen, and, and, and uh, where do you go from here? Uh, it's very hard to say. I have a hearing tomorrow. I will, ad I will adhere to the orders of the court, um, but I will mount a very vigorous defense. I need people to go to stonedefensefund.com, stonedefensefund.com, because they have the unlimited resources of the American taxpayers, and I ha I'm not a wealthy man. I'm essentially broke. This has broken me financially. Uh, and I have to raise the money for the lawyers uh, for my defense and for the security of my family because they're under constant death threats and threats of violence and so on. When you look at the indictment, you're basically being charged with being uh, inconsistent statements. But if anyone gets asked, 
5,500 times the same question, there's going to be inconsistencies. This is just a trap to go after President, to ultimately get President Trump. Yes, that's what I believe. I think that the, the ultimate target of the special counsel is the president, not me. I'm just collateral damage because I worked for his election and I helped defeat Hillary Clinton. What do you think about Seth Rich? Our whistleblowers go to significant efforts to get us material and often very significant risks. As a 27-year-old who uh, works for the DNC, who was shot in the back, murdered uh, just two weeks ago uh, for un unknown reasons as he was walking down the street in Washington. So that was, that was just a robbery, I believe, wasn't it? No, it's, there's no finding. And the Awan brothers. None of these people ask, none of the media you speak to, and all the interviews I see you with, no one cares. There's no investigation. The dossier claims that Trump colluded with Russia to hack the server. There's no server investigation. Doesn't right. this bother you? Yeah, I mean, look, I was on a plane with Debbie Wasserman Schultz yesterday. What? When the uh, when the Capitol Hill police informed her that the Iwan brothers were under investigation, she changed their status in the House computer system from employees to con from consultants to employees, so they would have continued access. They went on to steal data and money. That makes her an accessory. There is no investigation into her, and you won't read about that anywhere. If we don't wrap up this Russia probe soon, where, what, is the, what does the rule of law mean in the United States when someone perfect, people who are innocent are being sent to jail and their houses are being raided by the FBI with CNN, the media coordinating? Joining us now is CNN producer David Shortell. He was on the scene when this happened in Fort Lauderdale. But what's so fascinating is that we've talked to his attorney. The attorney didn't know this was coming. Clearly, Roger Stone didn't know this was coming. Coming. You were staked out at his house. You didn't know that this was coming. Why were you there in position? Allison, it's it's reporter's instinct. It's it's reporter's instinct. So we showed up at his house this morning. We were the only ones there. And lo and behold, the FBI agents did come and arrest him. It is very, very scary because uh, what happened to me could happen to any American. I mean, I am in my 60s. I don't own a gun. I don't have a valid passport. I am not a flight risk. I have no previous criminal record. I'm charged with nonviolent process crimes, yet they mounted a greater raid on my house than the one they raided to. Uh, they mounted to arrest and kill bin Laden or El Chapo or, or Pedro Escobar. So um, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, an attempt to paint me in the American public as public enemy number one and to taint the jury pool against me. It is entirely unfair, and that's why I'm glad Senator Graham is looking into the details. Now I want to know why to execute a search warrant with somebody who had a lawyer. The best way to get Roger Stone is to tell him CNN wants to talk to you. He'll, he'll show up Ouch. wherever you want him to show up. Right. So the bottom line is this seems to me over the top, and I don't know what the message was being sent, but I personally didn't like it. You know, I've been a prosecutor, defense attorney. It seemed to be sending the wrong message that if you cross Mueller, look what's going to happen to you. Mueller, do your job, but these tactics are unacceptable given the level of threat here. He's the lead guy. Well, if they're sending a message, I'm sending a message to them. You're, you're accountable to the Congress. And we're going to find out what you... Well, they better answer my letter. <laughs> okay. Um, if I were them, I would. Oh, <laughs>